522, almost 523. Margaret Rosas is here today, and it is the Karen Crow Country Christmas, Old Fashioned Christmas. You said this is your 20th year. That's right. This is our 20th year of uh, having this family fun event. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a great success. And this year, the Karen Crow Cultural District is bringing back the Friday night event with uh, caroling by the French Immersion students. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have caroling down the street and hot chocolate and cookies. And that's going to be taking place at the Karen Crow Community Center, That's correct? at the City Hall. At the City Hall, and that's going to be tomorrow from 6 to 9, correct? That's correct. Now, what's going on on Saturday? you got a, a whole day's worth of right. events coming up on so Saturday. So on Saturday at 8 o'clock, Karen Crow High is sponsoring a 5K run. It will be at the Community Center to start. Okay. And then from 9 to 3, we have over 100 vendors, food, arts and craft booths, and we have choirs and entertainers that sing throughout the day. Sounds good. Now, you also are going to be uh, asking for some donations for Toys for Tots. Is That's that right. We've uh, always had a, a little donation spot in the past, but this year we've decided to concentrate with Toys for Tots. Okay. Now, if you wanted any more information about this, can you go to uh, City of Karen Crow's website? You can, or you can give me a, a, a call on my cell phone. All right. Well, this is going through with the uh, Karen Crow Business Association and the Cultural District. It's the Karen Crow Country Christmas, Old Fashioned Christmas, and also Karen Crow High School is in there for the uh, 5K race. It's going to be on Saturday morning. And if you want any more information, you can go to cityofkarencrow.org or you can call 280-9570. Good luck and Merry Christmas to Thank you, you. And thanks for coming in again. And we will see you for year number 21, I hope. I hope so, too. Thanks for having us. All right, Margaret. We're going to send it over to Daniel Phillips now. He's got the latest on our weather forecast, including a peak into this weekend. Dave, thanks. Yeah, good looking weekend coming up. We do have some fog and a little bit of shower activity. We got to get through first quarter mile worth of visibility out over at the airport early this morning. Oh, you've seen that fog lay on thick. And those of you who haven't seen the fog, it's because you're getting some of those showers that have been trying to push their way across the region. Those look to continue up through, I'd say about mid morning. Everything should start to clear up a little bit uh, more. 67 degrees out right now. Dew points hitting at 67 as well. So likely where we're going to bottom out today. It's going to be a weird day. Temperatures get up to about 75. Those clouds going to hang around just long enough, and then the cooler air will work its way in. Satellite radar picture brings a lot of showers up uh, northwards. Uh, most of that is just northwards of Acadiana. Got a lot of showers through uh, eastern parts of St. Landry Parish. Sunset up to Opelousas along I-49, dealing with a lot of that wet weather, and then looking southwards. Uh, south of Maurice and Abbeville now seeing some of the showers. That's pushing its way north along uh, 167, getting ready to see a heavy downpour here at the station that's going to be starting any moment now. So that's working its way through Lafayette proper and then stretches out over towards Acadia Parish. I think it's starting to slow down in Acadia now and should be able to avoid showers the rest of the day. Once these uh, showers come to an end, then everything is going to be clearing up. Some of those clouds do hang about sure up through with the middle of the day, but I do think that by the afternoon evening you're looking at sunshine. Clear air comes rushing in. Chillier air as well. We're back down into the low 50s for tonight, 51, 52 for your overnight low, and then going to be a cool day on, on Friday. Nice and comfortable outside. Low 70s expected. Temperature is going to be sitting uh, again in the low 70s, and we are going to get plenty of sunshine to go along with it. 75 degrees for your high today. Got a couple scattered morning showers. Dense morning fog advisory is going to be in effect until about 9 o'clock. We've got sunshine for Friday and Saturday and then headed into next week. Front moves through on Tuesday. Could make it substantially chillier by the end of next week. If you're celebrating a birthday this morning from all of us at GMA, have a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday from GMA to you.
Good morning, Acadiana. We're coming up on 530. It is 67 degrees. And guess what? It's raining in KTC. It is. We can, it is. Hear, we can, hear, we can hear the rain. Rain yeah. on the roof this morning. And you know what? Daniel was right. We don't tell him that. Look very at it. Often. Here's that smug look once again. <laughs>